Hey, welcome back students. In this video, I want to go ahead and provide you some more sample problems on how to convert Celsius uh, temperatures into Kelvin temperatures. And so let's just get some random numbers here, get going. I'll try to see if I can do about two problems in this video. And I think coupled with the other one, that should be plenty of enough for you uh, to practice on these problems. Okay, so let's kind of see here. Let's say that we have 15 degrees Celsius and we want to convert that to Kelvin. And let's actually make this 15.0. That way we can actually do three significant figures. So if we do this, what we want to do is we got to keep in mind that in order for us to do these conversions, we need to keep in mind that degree Celsius, when I add 273 degrees, this is going to give me my answer in Kelvin, which is what we're after. So we'll take the 15.0, and what we're going to do here is we're going to add 273. Now if I line this up properly, I should have put the, the 15 aligned with the 3, so essentially what I'm going to be doing here is lining them up like this and so what I would wind up getting here would be an 8, an 8, and a 2, and a point zero. This is my conversion. Since this here has four significant figures because of the decimal point, in other words the zero counts, I want to make sure that I provide my final answer in three significant digits. That means that I can only take into account these three here. And so let me put that in yellow. I can only take account into these three. I don't want this zero. So my final answer here in Kelvin is going to be, my Kelvin temperature is going to be equal to 288. Okay. Okay. This is my final answer there. And so if I want to do another problem, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, let's see here. Let's say that I want to do the following. I want to convert 45 degrees Celsius and I want to convert that to Kelvin. Go ahead and see if you can try to do this on your own. Go ahead and pause the video. And then when you're done, go ahead and press, uh, press play again. And so what we'll do here is the following. Hopefully you've had a chance to do this, but in order, remember we're going to Kelvin, so what we need to do here is take the degree Celsius, in this case, the 45, and then we're just going to go ahead and add 273 to this. And when we do that, we're going to wind up getting the following. 5 plus 3 is going to be 8. 7 and 4 is 11. Carry the 1. So that means my final temperature is going to be 318 Kelvin. Now, this is the answer, but remember, look how many significant figures I've got. I've only got two. So I need to be able to report this as a significant figure count of two. In order for me to do that, what I need to do is kind of rewrite this to two significant figures. So that means that I can only take into account the three and the one. So this eight, we need to look at it and ask the question, is this greater than five or equal to five? Because the 8 is actually greater than 5, what we're get, what's going to happen is it's going to wind up causing this 1 to increase to 2. So the what we get here is going to be a 3 and a 2, but we're going to put a decimal inside because our answer can only be two significant figures, and we need to kind of look at this because now we actually do have two significant figures, but something's missing. Obviously, 3.2 is not equal or anywhere close to 318. So what we need to do here is use scientific notation times 10, and the exponent here is going to be between where the decimal currently is existing, which is at the end of the 8, and between the 3 and the 1. That's where I want it to be. If I count the spaces between the two decimal spaces here, it's 1, 2. I know that my exponent is going to be 2. And so this number here is my final answer in Kelvin. So if you have any other questions or need additional help, go ahead and rewind the video, watch it again if you need to, or see me in class during tutorial and I'd be happy to help you. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, keep watching, and keep learning.